we're talking about the Maasin dormitory. That's in Leyte, southern Leyte. And uh, we have a deaf population here. Most of them are still stuck in the mountains. And so we just got absolutely super fortunate to have um, this buildings that are behind us, these two buildings donated to our project. Okay, our goal is that when we finish, we'll hopefully, hopefully, we'll have a completed dormitory for the deaf kids. And we'll have needing to change the roof, change the floors, repair the floors, uh, paint the walls, build some walls. The building was donated by the government. Um, and then uh, Faith Chapel came alongside us and they have put up $10,000 for the renovation of the dormitories and the classrooms and uh, sent over this Faith Chapel team. Uh, we're cleaning out everything so we can start re-innovating. During the two years of it being abandoned, it was actually used for a worm farm. And uh, that's the first job the Faith Chapel team had to do was to move out all that soil used for earthworms. We're just getting wet and dirty, but it's fun. We moved a whole load of dirt that they've been making fertilizer out of. And as a result, we're all muddy. Actually, Leyte is, uh, we consider it the least evangelized uh, area of the Philippines. In Leyte, we only have few churches. There's a lot of uh, poor people around this area. The basic thing that the people um, doing here they're doing like fishing, carpentry and construction, and also uh, farming. It's, it's fun to see the project get some life of its own now. And you can start to see it and get a good picture in your mind. And so the vision starts to come together. And that's really valuable for everybody to keep working and motivated. Uh, this team is really, really good. for Vacation Bible School this afternoon. We get a chance uh, today, tomorrow, and Thursday, the next day, three hours of their school day actually given to us to teach them the gospel. And um, we're really excited. Today we're gonna talk about the God who loves us and values us. It's absolutely a miracle. I mean, literally, I've, I've been here in the Philippines for 30 years, and, in it, and to do something like this in the past is in another location has taken me like 10 years. And this has happened in one year's time. Can't believe it. Um, God has been just absolutely amazing. It's a miracle. The miracle of the funding, the miracle of the, of the place, the miracle of the donation. Um, we even have a deaf pastor that has kind of just popped up out of nowhere and is going to be able to take on uh, this whole ministry here. In fact, he's getting married soon and he and his wife will be moving in here to be dorm supervisors. You know, there's going to be life-changing things happen in this building. These kids are going to come here and um, experience uh, some new and uh, exciting things. And so knowing that we participated and helped in that process gives your heart uh, a good feeling because you know that um, Jesus is happy with what we're doing. So it's pretty fun.